Hello, what's going on? Welcome back. In last week's video, we talked about 2024 and some of the goals that I have. We talked about ending 2023 on a good note and starting the new year off strong. And one of the things that I mentioned that will help us do that is to establish good routines for ourselves, specifically really good morning and evening routines. And although today I don't wanna talk about exactly what I do in the morning and the evening, maybe in another video I will, but I do wanna talk about the products that I use and the products that I love. And especially now that I'm back to training jujitsu, some of these products are really, really helpful. They're helpful with my recovery. They're helpful with just being a woman and wanting to still feel feminine training jujitsu where you're just feeling pretty gross the whole time. And I've made videos like this before, but products always change. You know, I'm always trying new things and I fall in love with new things. And I'm not telling you that you have to go out and buy the things that I use because because what works for me may not work for you. Everybody's hair and skin and body and lifestyles are so different. But what I'm hoping is that by me sharing these products that I love will give you at least a little bit of motivation or a little bit of encouragement to start thinking about some good routines for yourself. So I've got all of my products right here, all of my main products that I use for my hair and my skin. So let's start with hair. Now, if you go all the way back to some of my older videos and I talked a little bit about, you know, the products that I use to take care of my skin and my hair and not really so much my nails as you can see. But when it came to hair, I never had a hair routine. I used to use just cheap shampoo from the drugstore. I always, thankfully, just had healthy hair. I, I think it's genetics. My mom always had amazing hair. But then, I think it was about a year ago, I made an updated video where I talked about incorporating some new products and just trying to develop a good hair routine because now I'm in my 30s and I felt like, you know, it's time to have a good hair routine. You know, and jujitsu just, it really just messes up our hair. You know what I mean? So I'm really excited to share some products that I've been using for a while now. And I really feel a difference with my hair. And I think most of all, I just feel better knowing that I'm taking care of my hair a little bit better. So besides washing it, right? These are some of the extra products that I use. First things first, I have gotten into hair oiling. I have just seen all over TikTok how good oiling your hair is. And I know that this is not something recent. This is not just a trend. This has been something that women have done for forever, especially in other cultures. I've also read a lot about the healing benefits of castor oil. There's a lot of information bouncing around about how how castor oil helps grow your hair. And from what I've read, it's kind of a myth, but kind of not. So this is the castor oil that I use. And from what I understand is that what castor oil does is it helps promote a healthy scalp. It's also incredibly moisturizing. And if you can create sort of this healthy scalp environment, that can promote hair growth. Now, what a lot of people do say helps with hair growth is rosemary. Now, there are a ton of pre-made oils out there that already contain these ingredients. When I started getting interested in oiling my hair, I was talking to this woman that I'm friendly with at my local health food store and she's in the medical industry and she said she actually just uses the straight rosemary essential oil, mixes a few drops in with the castor oil and you put it right onto your scalp. I keep those two mixed together kind of like right at the base of my hair and then for the mid all the way to the ends. I started using jojoba oil because it's so, so moisturizing. I'll usually put those products in on a Sunday evening. I'll leave them in my hair for two to three 
three hours and then I'll wash it out. And then before I forget, I actually use this little scalp massager tool too. I use it before I put any oil in my hair. And one really fun little fact that I learned about this and how to properly use it is you don't wanna be aggressive. You actually wanna be very gentle with this. So you wanna put it on your head and you wanna move it in circular motions almost to kind of like move your scalp back and forth versus aggressively moving your hair all around because that can actually cause breakage in your hair. And we are very actively trying to avoid that because we get enough breakage from jujitsu. So be gentle. And this is actually also really good to help break up the product that you may have in your hair. If you don't wash your hair every day and maybe you have dry shampoo and hairspray or texture spray, this is really good to help break all of that up before you put the oils in your hair. Something else that I've noticed about hair oiling is that people have a lot of aggressive opinions on the internet about it. I guess just like anything else. I understand it comes down to the kind of hair that you have and the kind of oils that you're using, but I don't know. I think like with anything else at the end of the day, there's no one right way to do things. So if you're interested in oiling up the hair, do a little bit of research, start experimenting and find what works for you. Something else that I've been using one to two times a week is a really nice moisturizing hair mask. Let me also say something. I am not trying to spend a ton of freaking money on all of these products because there's a lot of stuff that I have on this table right here. And if every single product, I mean, stuff is so expensive. I don't know. I just don't want to blow my whole budget on all of these products. So if I can find good products that are a little bit more affordable, that work and that I like, I mean, why not? I use this mask. I put it from like mid down all the way to my ends. I wake up the next morning. My hair is so soft. After I get out of the shower, I always use a leave-in conditioner. I've been loving this one by the same brand. It's so lightweight and my hair, I have a lot of hair, but the individual strands are very fine. So what's really good about this one is it's so light that it doesn't weigh down my hair. And then my last little extra hair care product Product is a good dry shampoo. I've used a couple of bottles from Not Your Mother's and Batiste, but I wanted to try a powder one. And what I kind of loved about this one is that there's no added fragrance to it. And fragrance is one of those things, it's in everything and it's a hormone disruptor and it's kind of hard to avoid. At this point, I kind of pick and choose my battles, but I have been really enjoying this dry shampoo and it's definitely an added benefit that there's no added fragrance to it. So now let's move on to skin. A good skincare routine will change your life no exaggeration, especially with jujitsu and our faces are just getting slammed into the mats every day and they're getting rubbed on the mats. You know, our skin is getting rubbed on other people's geese and in other people's sweat. We gotta give our skin a little extra love. First things first, we need a really good cleanser. You're not going anywhere if your skin is not clean. I love, love, love this one from Pharmacy. Again, no added fragrance to it, which is great. And it's a cleansing balm, so it really removes your makeup really, really well. It doesn't leave my skin feeling dry and stripped. Following my cleanser, I will go in with some rose water spray. This just feels really good. It's refreshing. Rose water is nice and hydrating. After the rose water, I will go in with my vitamin C serum. This is from Pharmacy as well. This is amazing for your complexion, for brightening. If you have any dark spots or old acne spots, this will really help to brighten those bad boys up. Then I'll go in with my squalane serum. This is my third bottle of this serum. I love it. Love it. And guess how much it is? $10. And the only, it has one ingredient, one ingredient, squalane. That's it. And then because I use a retinol at night, vitamin C during the day, I always top everything off with a sunscreen. So that's my daytime routine. I know it may seem like a lot if you're someone that doesn't already have a skincare routine, but it literally takes two minutes and every single day my skin just feels so good. These are what I use at night. Let me tell you, I love 
this stuff. I have been using this for years. I can't even tell you how many times I've purchased this. It is salicylic acid, so it really gets down into your pores and cleans them out. My skin feels so soft and hydrated and glowy after I use this. I use this at night and I use it one to two times a week. Guys, exfoliating your skin is so important. It's gonna help unclog your pores. It's gonna help get the dead skin cells off the surface. It's gonna help with skin texture. This is also by Paula's Choice. I use this at night. It's the Barrier Repair Moisturizer and it contains retinol. Retinol is really good for your cell turnover. It helps to firm up your skin. It helps to target signs of aging and your girl's 32 now. So I gotta keep my skin looking young. And then at night, because it would be way too thick during the day, something that I've actually been experimenting with after I put this on. I've actually been going in with castor and jojoba oil, just a tiny, teeny, tiny bit. In the morning, my skin it's glowing, she's hydrated. So that's what I've got going on with all of my skin and hair products these days, especially now with being back to training jujitsu. Our skin and our hair just need a little extra love and I look forward to it every single day. This next thing I'm obsessed with and I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit of an investment. I used to use one that was very affordable but it broke. This is my red light therapy device from Platinum LED, the best birthday present ever for my husband. Red light has incredible incredible benefits for athletes, for all of my jujitsu people that are broken out there, for your everyday person. So let's go into a couple of things that this device can be really, really helpful for. The camera's not really catching the light, but you can see it's making my hair more red. So, so essentially red light, red light comes from the sun and it's very present in the early morning sun rays and the evening sun. It gives us all of these wonderful benefits that the sun provides for us without overexposing ourselves to the UVA and UVB rays. So what are some things that red light can help us with. It helps reduce overall inflammation. It helps with muscle recovery. I can't get too sciencey because, well, science is not quite my thing, but from what I read and my understanding is the mitochondria in our cells respond really well to the red light, which improves the energy in our cells and their function. Red light helps to improve circulation. It's great for your skin. It improves fine lines and wrinkles and skin texture. It helps promote collagen, which we all know is really great for our skin, our hair, our connective tissue. When I got injured and I had a much smaller red light device, I would put that red light directly on the injury site. And then after I had surgery, I would put it right on the scar. What I also use red light therapy for, for my ladies out there, is cramping. It's also really great to help with your circadian rhythm. I love my sleep. I'm a big advocate for getting a good night's sleep. And so many things that we do throughout the day really mess with our sleep cycle. The laptops that we sit on all day, we watch TV late at night, and all of the blue light that comes off of the screens messes up our sleep hormones. I love it. I use it in the morning. I use it at night. If you're not ready to make a big investment on one, they do have more affordable options right on Amazon. Highly, highly recommend. And the last thing that I wanna talk about that I use, I use it in the morning, I use it in my night routine. This is so helpful for jujitsu and being a makeup artist when I'm kind of bent over in all these funky positions working on people's faces. I've mentioned this briefly before, my acupressure mat. Game changer, amazing, 20 bucks. So there's these little plastic spikes on it. I lay on it bare skin. The little spikes hit the pressure points or trigger points on your body and it activates your central nervous system. It promotes blood flow and circulation. I lay on this and I try to target the areas of my body that are really sore or where I feel like they have pretty good knots in them. I lay on this for maybe 10 minutes, instant relief. Cannot recommend this enough. <sighs> I feel like that was a lot. Are you overwhelmed? <laughs> but I just really, really wanted to share products that I've been loving lately and things that make me feel good and things that just help create these really good routines for me every day. You know, just to help me look and feel like the best version of myself, to help me recover from strength training and jujitsu, to help me with the injury that I had, 
comment. If you have questions about anything that I talked about, leave a comment, let me know. If there's any products that you love, let us all know. I'm always down to learn about other really good things that can help with recovery, to help with just overall wellness. So yeah, I hope this video gave you a little bit of encouragement to just take really good care of yourself because you deserve it. So that is it. I feel like that was so many products, but I just had to share it all. Until the next video, I will see you guys next time.